All right, I'm not showing every little step that I uh, take pulling this thing apart because the video would be way too long. But this is uh, the direct drive clutch here. And I did take it all apart. Um, there's a couple of snap rings that are fairly easy to get out. The most challenging part, of course, is uh, the spring cage because it sits here and then is retained um, with a snap ring. And so you have to push down on this to get the uh, snap ring out. So I'll show you what I did to get that off. Okay, now we've got to compress the spring cage on uh, this part here. And I built a, uh, it just have a two by four notched out so it'll press on each side. And then I cut a little hole in the top here that the uh, press could fit into. So, <clears throat> now all we need to do is go ahead and start cranking it and push down. That relieves the pressure. Now we should be able to get the snap ring off. Okay, now that we have this assembly fully apart, um, I'm looking at each of the pieces and I haven't found any issues yet. I mean, I got the thrust bearings here. Those all move uh, nice and smooth. Um, no weird noises there. Um, the uh, clutch packs here look great. All the steels, there's no indication of anything burnt. Um, everything looks really good. Um, and uh, let's see, the uh, spring cage here, got that pulled off and then this, just in here, there's a little lip seal. Um, even that looks good. Every, I'm just not finding any issues here at all so far. Um, so anyway, I know there's something because we found material uh, in the uh, valve body. So anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, go on to the next step. Now we'll take a look at the forward input clutch assembly. Let's take the drum assembly off. And then we'll check the bearing. This should move nice, spin nice and smooth with no friction or noise. It feels perfect. Now let's remove the snap ring on this assembly. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and remove the end plate. The bottom one is a wavy. It's supposed to be bent like that to keep tension on it. <clears throat> These actually look like they're in pretty good shape. Okay, before I go any further here, um, I think I found what was causing the noise. I was looking at this uh, planetary gear system, and if you go in right here, you'll see that there's a little bit of damage uh, to the surface area right here. There. So something got in there, wedged itself in there, and uh, nicked it out a little bit. So I started looking at the sun gear a little bit closer. Um, this guy, which actually goes into this uh, planetary system. And if you look real close, you'll see that one of the teeth here is chomped off. So that probably came off and then uh, started floating around in here and got be caught between one of the gears <clears throat> in this uh, portion of the planetary system. So <clears throat> that's probably what was causing the uh, metal pieces that we found. It just uh, eventually just got shredded up and then ended up down in the, in the pan there. So anyway, I'm pretty confident that this is going to be the issue because I'm not finding any problems with anything else. The clutch packs look great, the pistons look great, the seals look great. Everything is in pretty good shape. So hopefully, all we need to do is just get another sun gear and then uh, put it back together. Of course, I'll get an overhaul kit and then replace all the uh, high wear items. But I think uh, that's, that's going to be the, the issue. I think we solved the problem. And because we had a floating metal around in this system. We're gonna to have to look at these uh, planetary gears um, very closely to make sure that those aren't damaged in any way as well. Well, I'm glad we decided to take a closer look at these planetary gears. As you can see, uh, one of those is damaged as well. Well, since we found the main culprit for the problem that we're having in the transmission, um, I think I'll call this video quits and um, 
there's probably no point in turning it down, tearing the transmission down any further. Uh, everything that we've looked at so far has been in great shape. The clutch packs are in great shape. The uh, pistons are in good shape. The seals are in good shape. So I think I'll just go ahead and order the parts we need to get this transmission back up and running. And while we're waiting for those parts to come in, we'll turn our attention to the car and address some of the issues uh, that we found, other issues that we found with the car, like the brakes and the rear main seal. So anyway, uh, we'll resume the next video with uh, dealing with those issues on the car while we're waiting for these parts. So anyway, till then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.